Alright, so good morning everyone, welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today, the new Painful Saga presses onwards, as once again we try and take down a giant squirrel. That's a sentence, honestly, I never thought I would say in my life, but with modded Terraria, really anything is possible. So after the last episode, we got a lot of recommendations, which I'm really grateful for. Because during the last episode, I got to that point where I was like, right, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna wait for comments, because I feel like I'm, I'm kind of missing something, and I actually feel like I did. So, I would say the number one recommendation from the last episode is kind of in regards to just how much we have on screen. Now, I'll be honest, as we did the boss fight, I didn't notice this at all, but when you look at it, we have three eyeballs. We have one of these icy crystals. We have a tiny plantera, a lunatic cultist, a UFO, and a little rainbow slime. And boulders that do this. It is a lot. I will admit, it is a lot. I then pair it with um, with a giant squirrel. It just becomes like an absolute barrage on the senses. So there is a fix for this in this option right here. So you can click minimal effects preset. So if I click that... It all goes away. That's right. I don't know if we lose any of our special effects. Probably not, right? We, we're probably still amazing. But yeah, um, that should be a lot better for everyone. I like, like I said, I didn't notice during the episode, but I was watching it back on my phone when it was uploaded to YouTube. And I was like, man, this episode looks garbage. I was like, it looks really bad. But it's because when you do... Um, like video rendering, if you have a lot on screen at the same time, it just drops the bitrate down to kind of keep up. And yeah, it, it didn't look good. Um, so that is solved. The other one was people wanted me to make um, the upgraded wing thing. Um, so let's put in the Betsy's wings. Yeah, this is it. They wanted me to make the flight mastery soul. So it is now time to, to start making souls. Unfortunately, <laughs> I say unfortunately because because this is going to have to be the, the structure of, of episodes moving forward is we go all right people want to see this so we're going to have to work on this for like five to ten minutes um so this is the next thing flight mastery so it allows for infinite flight <laughs> do you know what actually do you know what? this made me laugh because I, I remember reading a comment that was like James you got to get the flight mastery salt because it gives you infinite flight how amazing is that and I'm like, I have played enough 1.4. I am not amazed by infinite flight. Although, that accessory from the Emperor to Light that gives infinite flight is really good. Right, let's, um... Because I haven't made a lot of wings in the series. Let's see if I can make any. Oh, there you go. I can make a whole bunch. I can make a lot of them. Um, I don't know which ones I need. Um, <laughs> let me back out of that. Right, um, let's try this again. So, wings. Wings. Uh, which one do we need? Right, let's just work through it. Fish run wings, already got them. Wait, we can make them? Oh yeah, with the trophy. Ah, I remember that. Festive wings. All right, we can't make festive wings. We'll have to, to gather those. Next up is tattered fairy wings. Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> I just realized I don't have any souls of flight. That's really shocking, to be honest. I feel like I've killed, um, I feel like I've killed a million wyverns in this Let's Play. So... Let's speak to the to, to the Deviant. Let's head down here. Deviant, will you sell me some cloud snacks? Yeah, I'll buy a whole bunch of them. Give me seven. Why don't I have Souls of Flight? What, what is that? It's just one of those things where it's like, why even show up every couple of seconds? Like, what what is that? Right, let's begin. Before I keep saying, what is that? Oh my god, it's amazing. So, yesterday, uh, you may have noticed that I posted something a little bit different. Um, for those wondering the reason why uh, I did that, it, I, I guess in a way, it was kind of the revival of, of New Game Friday, which is like the fabled, undelivered promise of the channel. I'm so sorry. I am actually so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I, I did something a little bit different, mainly because uh, I knew I'd be busy um, on Saturday, which was, was yesterday. So I had a bit of free time on Friday, and I was like, I'm going to play Hollow Knight. Um, the comments were super kind. I really appreciate it. A lot of people were like, you got to do a full series. It took me 70 hours. 
And I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. About committing to it. Do you know what I mean? Because because I make these and then it's like, what do I do? Not post these? These are the bomb. You know what I mean? It's hard. It's weird, isn't it? Because I want to... Well, you would think I would want to expand a little bit more. But in reality, I don't. Because I really do like making these. And every day we don't make these, it's like, ah. Right, anyway. Um, but yeah, thanks for the kind comments. I, I think I might do that as a little routine now. So every Friday I'll make a second video in the day if I get time and stuff. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, thanks for, thanks for the kind comments, everyone. I really appreciate it. Right, flame wings. Um, frozen wings. Bone wings? Bone wings. All right. Harpy wings. Got them. Theory wings. Got them. Uh, so what's left? Festive wings. Now, I can't remember which enemy drops festive wings. Oh, you can, oh, there you go. It's, it's made from Everscream. So we can either get a trophy or we can pick one up. So let's, um, let's just summon it in. Um, where is it? It's a present, right? Let me, let me, let me go get some festive wings. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was interesting. So we got festive wings, and we got the trophy from the same one. That's kind of cool. I like that. Right. So let's make this a uh, wing set. So just one thing I also wanted to point out. People were kind of saying, well, Gaia. Yeah, it is Gaia, right? Gaia armor is you know just as good, if not better, than Nebula. And it's also, like, got a bit of versatility to it, so you could be a bit more damaging, or you can have, you know, the, the 600 health. So that's kind of cool. So I'm actually glad about that, mainly because I quite like it. Uh, what is this? It's from the Alchemist mod. Man, Alchemist mod adds some, some right stuff. I should have got the Alchemist light mod, but there is things I really like from it. Like, I really like the charm of luck and, and stuff like that. Um, so that's why I have that, just for anybody wondering. Just, like... Why is, why is a bunch of random stuff popping up? To be fair, it's my fault. Right. Um, what? How do we do the mastery thing again? What's it called? It's called Flight Mastery Soul. Okay. Soul. Here we go. I quite like the sprite for these. I do. I quite like the sprite for these. These are, these are pretty sick. So there we go. Infinite Flight. Hell yeah. Oh, and look at that. They look amazing. So I'm going to be zip zooming all over the place. So the next bit of advice that we got was to look for more weapons and one of the people from Fargo's mod, not the man himself, all right, not the fabled Mr. Fargo man. <laughs> um, he said, have a little look at Luminite weapons or have a little look with Luminite bars and look at ones that say energized or something like that. Wow, there is a whole bunch here. Okay, let me let me flick through and see if I can see anything of interest. Big Brain Buster, what? I quite like that. Oh, there you go, Energizer, got ya. So this is an upgrade to the, um, to the, to the Brain of Cthulhu weapon, that's cool. Oh, look at that, there's an upgrade to the, to the one from, oh, it's, oh, there's upgrades for all of them. Right, okay. Do you remember this one? Do you remember the sound? <laughs> I think I heard that sound way too much. Oh my god, look at that. There's, a, there's one for this one. I don't know which one to make. Mechanical Leash of Cthulhu. Now that's cool. Slime Slinging Slasher. That sounds really cool. The Big Sting. Oh my god, there's loads of them. There's absolutely loads of them. Yeah, I'm assuming that, that this is what we need to make. Stuff like this. Um, let me just double check. I tell you what, let's make, let's make a mage one. It's gonna have to be this one. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst one. All right. So how do we get the Wally Energizer? Formed after using 10 bundles of dolls. You feel claustrophobic. Right. Um, so I don't know how that works. I'm assuming that it's sold by the chap who sells the boss summons. This dude right here. Okay. So let's have a little look. Um, pretty hard modes. Fleshy dolls. Make sure to use it underground. Overloader. Used to craft swarm summons. When used, all summons in the stack will be consumed. The more consumed, the more bosses will spawn. I think I get it. I think you meant to make, like, loads of them at once. And then when I click summon on this, it will summon all of them. Do you know what I mean? Let's test that theory out, though. Let's grab a uh, underworld potion. Bam. Yeah, let's try. let's try this again. So we got 14 bags. So one stack was 14. 
Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> That's it, all right. Now it's gonna be a wall of flesh speed run. Oh my god, I don't like it when they get strong. <laughs> That's gonna be a bit of a problem. I kind of just needed them to, to drop constant health, but I don't think they're gonna do it. Or maybe they are, I, can't, I can't, honestly can't tell. I wonder how this looks on the world map. I almost wanna see it. Oh my god. <laughs> amazing, amazing. All right, well, let me work through these. Ah, so it tells me at the bottom how many I've killed and how many are to summon in. That's pretty interesting, actually. I quite like that. So I've killed 20... Well, oh, there you go. I've killed 30. So I will say, what we'll probably end up doing at some point, um, you know, maybe I'll, I'll kind of, like, um, space it out between the different episodes, but I, I think we'll probably end up making all of the different um, upgrades if this one turns out to be, like, kind of amazing. Do you know what I mean? And, I, and I'm only really going to make them because, you know, it's been such a, a fun part of the Let's Play to, to gather these weapons. So I'm, I'm quite proud because we have all of them. Like, we have all the special weapons. So it's, like, it's pretty cool that we're going to be able to make this. But, yeah, I've done 73 now. Just quite a bit more to go. Whenever anybody asks me to explain Fargo Soul Mod to them, I'm going to show them this. Like, when they want to know about the grind, I'll go, But you know what I did? I stood in a line, and I killed a hundred wall of fleshes. And that's the Fargo Soul Mod. That's the way. Alright, so with this final one, that has been 100 wall of fleshes. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. Very different, but... But amazing. So there we go. We got the Wally Energizer. That's cool. That's cool. Right. So let's head home. Let's bang that bad boy in there. Uh, we'll also put in the Luminite Bars as well. Uh, I've got so many of these summons. All right. If anybody wants any, do let me know. Uh, so what was it called? Was it the Regurgitator? I'll tell you what. I could probably just find out. Uh... Regurg hey, there you go. Right, the Regurgitator. 660 magic damage. Uses 5 mana, the enslaved face of a defeated foe. Bam. There we go. And it's masterful as well. I'll take it. So in comparison, this does 357. This does 758. So let's have a little look. Is it as annoying sounding as before? No. It's a... Oh. <laughs> it's a gun now. It's a gun that also spits out hungry. That's cool. That's cool. I quite like that. Let's begin. Champion of Timber. That's right. So we got to actually aim with this, which is the only problem. Because aiming's kind of awful. What is that? Why is there a giant hungry right in front of my character? What are you doing? <laughs> I tell you what, it's interesting because you can actually see what his um, his attacks are now. Which is really different. Because obviously yesterday... Am I meant to get out of this? Is that what you're meant to do? I think you are, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay. I was kind of confused by that yesterday. I thought I was meant to stay inside and it was like a damaging aura, if not. You know what? When you have a weapon that has a giant hungry like that, just kind of sticking out of it, it almost makes the rest of the fight seem small in comparison. Do you know what I mean? But it is nice to, to actually see its attacks. Oh, used the dash to get out of there. Oh, it pulled me back in. Hell no. I ain't staying in there. So I would say so far, this weapon probably isn't the best. I feel like I was doing more weapon, more damage, sorry, of my Nebula Blades. Let's actually do a quick comparison just to... Oh. Oh, okay. I think I figured out. You're meant to charge up the, the Hungry and then release it. Like that. Oh, yeah. That makes a lot more sense. I just stopped firing for a second. I was like, oh, yeah. That's clearly it. <laughs> It should automatically release when it gets big enough, I think. So, real quick, I really want to see what happens if we turn them all back on again and then try the fight. I want to see what happens to our um, to our damage. So, let's have a little look. Yeah, as you can see, it is impossible to kind of tell what's going on. But the damage is way higher. Like, it's ridiculously higher. So, it's almost... I know it's bad, but it's like, it's almost worth just keeping it on. Because of the fact that it's going to kill the boss way quicker than I am. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, let me get out of there. Because it's like, why make the fight three times longer if we can just kind of enjoy the cluster that is this? But then again, the thing is, is what you can do is you can pretty much essentially like learn the boss pattern with the effects turned off. 
and then jump into the next one and then you know you've, you've at least got an idea that is a big difference i think they need to figure out how to turn off the effects but still have them kind of running in the background do you know what i mean so what i've done by the way is i have gone back to minimal effect uh, just to try and learn a little bit more about the boss in the second phase because that's when i'm struggling uh, the most right now because it's got a lot going on there's like trees that spawn in and then it also kind of becomes plantera for a little bit it's a pesky little squirrel i've got to say Right, so we're coming into the second phase. Minimal effects again, so that we can actually see what's going on. So let's see. I don't understand how I'm meant to, to dodge through the rain. Am I meant to maybe Betsy's dash a little bit more? Okay, so for this phase, he's just kind of spitting stuff out. So I'm assuming I've just got to move fast. <laughs> I've got no idea. Right, now it's Plantera. So what do I do here? Do I just move? Oh, and then the Plantera hooks become electrified. Now that's unique. Okay, right. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh, yeah, it snowballs. Forgot about those. I've got no idea. <laughs> this fight is rock solid. It's rock solid. Um, hmm. Let me have a little look at some of these um, energized weapons again. Maybe there is one that we can use that will be better. Luminite, right. Let me have a little look. It's some of these magey weapons. Or if there is another magey one. See, like this. Like, should we be making this? Because it's, um... You know, it's a summon weapon. Should we should we be making that and then adding to what we've got? This one's ranged. This one's melee. The reward for slaughtering many. <laughs> this one just makes me smile. This is another melee one. Ranged. Hmm... Hmm, I, I'm not sure what to make, honestly. I'm not sure what to make. Um, I don't know. I feel like we should definitely do this, though. We should upgrade one of these. Well, we should do this one. Let's get the summoning one. This caps at six slots. We were doing so well. Oh, there you go. A bunch more have converted all at the same time. <laughs> See, when they convert, they get super aggressive. And that's kind of what you want, because then they're kind of just on top here. So your mage weapons do a lot more. There you go. A hundred have been killed. Thank you. Did I get my my item? It's probably dropped on the floor. Where is it? I want my energized thing. Like, for real? Where, oh, it's there. All right. Okay, right. So, let's go and uh, bop all this in here. Um, we'll open up those bags someday when we need a little bit more moolah. Right. So, this makes the big brain buster. Right. Big brain buster. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So this gives us 329 summon damage. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. I don't think I can summon any more than that. That's cool. So it's just another little effect. Right, I might try the, the timber boss one more time and just see how I, I get on with that now that I've got an extra summon to see if it does me any better. I don't know. Oh, I just realized it wasn't spawning in, was it, because of the dragon? Oh, there you go. Yeah, much larger now. Yeah, it's way better. <laughs> I did think I was like, it's not really getting larger. <laughs> like, I've been lied to. So, since today, I'm not really making, like, the best uh, boss progress. And I think it's because I'm kind of more in the mood to experiment. I'm going to dedicate the rest of the episode, in a way, to checking out some more of these, like, upgraded weapons. Because they seem cool. And I really want to see if I could maybe... Um, find one that I like, and I'm like, yeah, I want to use that. Because when I use this, I don't know what it is about it, but I don't really click with it. And I think it's because I don't really want to use a gun right now, and that's a wizard gun, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm going to work on some more. Uh, I'll do these last two, and then I'll probably call it a day for today. Oh yeah, we should probably make this night time. There we go. I wonder how quick I'm going to destroy these. So these are not too bad. These are all right. Oh, I like the boss resprite. I tell you what, some of them so far have been really good. Like, these seem like um, actual uh, unique sprites, which Fargo Soul mods never really had before. It's more boss recolorings. Not like there's anything wrong with that, truthfully, but that's kind of what it was. Um, where's my where's my special thing? Where's my item? Did it go down here? Oh, right. <laughs> I think it did. Yeah, it did. All right, let's try the King Slime one. King Slime, for me, always signified the start of this Let's Play. Like, when I look back, 
King Slime really set the standard for, for what we have to put in. You know, we had that, like, big, long platform. It was hard. It was hard. It's a, it's a cool first boss. So that was cool. All right, 98, and bam. There we go. Wow, we got a lot from that. Right, so let's make these other two weapons then. I don't know what they're called, actually, so I'm going to have a little look. Uh, let's see. Um, put that one in. Uh, it's called the Slime Slasher. And put that one in. And it's the Leash. All right. This is cool. Okay, right. Dump it all in. Bam. Slime Slasher. Hey, there we go. Right. Done. Uh, and what was the other one? Leash. Leash. Here we go. Okay, right. So let's try both of these. So this is the legendary Slime Slinging Slasher. Let's go. It's pretty cool. It's This one feels like an actual upgrade. Whereas this one feels like a different weapon. Do you know what I mean? Let's see this one. That's kind of cool. Does it have a special effect? The reward for slaughtering many. Okay, interesting. Right, I might quickly just do one last little fight against the timber boss. I'm planning to do a proper fight tomorrow, though. Like, to, to actually do it right. I tell you what, if I got rid of this wizard soul and made the colossus one tomorrow i think we'd be better off i'll tell you what i might actually swap this out real quick for and we've used this a million times the dubious circuitry because then we get the the buffs um like icor and all that right okay let's try this out legendary is a sick reforge as well okay um begin let's see what kind of damage we can do let's turn on damaging buff it's pretty legit isn't it I would say it's pretty much on par with what we had before. This might be better, though, at... Um, all right, let's just double-check if it had a right-click ability. Um, this might be better at the second half because the target's a lot smaller. And quite clearly, there's a lot of um, slime going around here. I will say the infinite flight is really good to avoid that attack. Let's try it in the second half if we can get there. So this one is, is kind of cool. I think every time you hit, it spawns in, like, a little eyeball to fight for you. I don't feel like it does nearly as much damage as this, though. So I almost wouldn't use it just for that. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. This um, this seems pretty weak, to be honest. It's probably probably a combination of, of a lot of things. But yeah, this one doesn't really seem very um, yeah, very strong. But when you combine it with all the effects, it's really good. Because obviously, with, with all the little accessories we have, every attack gets like extra attacks. So if you have a weapon that fires out a million different slimy you know, balls. <laughs> it's it's good, right? It's good. Let me try that again with all the effects and just see how quickly I can do it that time. Yeah, the damage now is way better. Way, way better. It's such a shame. Like, it is. It's such a shame that he can't use all these effects. But it is. It's because it's too awful to look at. <laughs> That's the real reason. They need to figure out a way to, to still keep... It's hard because you want to tone down the effects visually, but improve their power. So maybe when you get past Moon Lord, you can change some of those accessories and get ones that, that give you all the extra stuff, but it's more powerful. Maybe you can like transition out from, from this. Because this is like a cluster of, of visual effects. It's like, what is this? But that is speedy. That's probably, that's probably the fastest we've done the first phase. Alright, I'm just going to keep dashing during this. I don't really like the rain. I feel like it's unavoidable. <laughs> At least here it is in England. Um, Man. Man. This is so hard. Okay, right. So I think for today, I'm going to round it up there. Bit of a different episode, I would say. I kind of went in with the idea that we were going to farm the boss. But it kind of just became like running around and just doing random stuff. So hopefully that's all right. Maybe it's got some Sunday energy. Um, but yeah, thanks for another great week on, on Chippy's Couch. I hope you've enjoyed the content. Um, yeah, more stuff coming tomorrow. And that is it. Shout out to our channel members as always. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.